It was on this street, near the institution known as Granger High School, where Ryan Pearson, philanthropist, environmentalist, racist, was born. His arrival would stir the events of the entire world, for unto us was born a man with no compassion for others, a man who valued food more than beautiful women, a man who would lick a shoe for a quarter. Born to this honest household was no ordinary man. He remains to this day an enigma to even his closest associates. In this special report, we will attempt to provide you with an in-depth look into the life of this modern man of mystery. To begin to understand the man, one must look no further than the actions of the man. Yeah, I remember this one time, um, one of our friends, he was sick and had to leave uh, class right before lunch. And uh, normally you would feel, you know, either pity or jealousy towards him, but, but not Ryan. Um, as our friend was walking across the room, Ryan stands up and yells at him. He's all, hey, can I have your lunch? I know you're not going to be eating anytime soon. And the entire class just like stands up and like looks at him in shock and I'm like, you know, yeah, that, that's basically Ryan for you. I was that friend. And to be honest, I too initially was disgusted with the thought of what happened. But after thinking about it for a while, I could do nothing but applaud, give the standing O to, to see such a figure. If, if there were one word I had to use to describe Ryan Pearson, it would be bigger. And given the chance, I would give that man a thousand sack lunches if I could. Now that he's gone? Actually, he isn't gone. Not yet. And of course, not everyone is impressed with his actions, as Mr. Hansen. A human, for lack of a better term, would not exhibit such primal behavior. But not so with Ryan. This intriguing creature is always looking out for number one. Sacrifice? I believe that that word is very foreign to him. Unwillingness to sacrifice. Exhibitions of primal behavior. Perhaps it is the bad boy appeal that makes Pearson so popular among the females and the males of the world. Oh yeah, I've had feelings for Ryan for a long time. His hair, his posture, his butt. Ryan Pearson with a gun in my head? Of course I would. Pearson's a pretty misunderstood character, really. On the one hand, he's known for his extreme, <laughs> extreme hatred of his family. But on the other hand, he was named Granger High School's most valuable PE participant for extraordinary hustle. Um, on the other hand, he did once misspell his name on tests. I really don't know what to make of him, truly. Recently discovered home video shows that the Pearson family interactions didn't quite live up to the standards set by a full house. What, you don't like the camera? Pearson has defied the odds despite being attacked by participants from nearly every gender, race, and religious sect. Why the animosity towards Pearson is due to the fact that he is fearless when it comes to offending others. 
often speaking of persons poorly when a thing is well arranged without even realizing it. Ryan's voice has two volumes, loud and off. Really? He's alive? But he moved to Philadelphia, right? How did a loud mouth survive out there? There is a tribe of indigenous aborigines that live in the wild mountains of the Tuamahara. They live without law, order, norm. It is in such a circumstance that Ryan would feel most comfortable. To the outside observer, it may be difficult to fully comprehend the outlier that is Ryan Pearson. This much we do know. He is a hoagie chef by day and a computer program by night. Perhaps an insider's view can shed more light on the true nature of Pearson. Ryan? I didn't know Ryan all that well. People always confuse Brian and Ryan, which I guess is understandable considering our similarity in appearance. Anyway, in order to distinguish between the two, people started to roll the R's in Ryan. But people thought it was so fun to roll the R's, they started to roll the R's in Brian as well, which made the whole exercise pointless. It was annoying. Someday, Ryan Pearson will find himself in a place like this. Probably. His passing will most likely go unknown to the public at large. Nevertheless, the impact that the Pearson will have left on this world will remain forever. Men like this don't come around very often, but when they do, they should be appreciated. It's not every day you meet a man who doesn't use a cell phone.